We're here counting down our 20 favorite energy stocks of 2013. Tyler, uh, what's next on your list? Sure. So I'm going to go back outside of the United States like I did on one of my earlier picks this time, and I'm going to go with rig company Ensco. Okay. And what is it about the Ensco story that uh, makes it a favorite this year? Sure. So just kind of backing out from Ensco and looking at the entire, I guess you could say, the macro rig market in general, there's really a lot to like about that, uh, this market right now. You know, the top seven integrated majors, you know, the, the Exxon Mobiles, the Chevron, the, the guys like that, they're expected to spend over $800 billion between now and 2017 in the offshore market. That's a lot of money being thrown around. And, you know, Ensco is one of the youngest fleets in terms of deep water uh, drilling vessels, and it also is rated number one in terms of the number one rig company in terms of customer satisfaction. So there's a lot going for them when they're actually trying to get contracts when it comes to things like that. It result, it is consistently competing with another top company in the space, Sea Drill, for the highest utilization rate for its deep water fleet. Now looking again at more specifically at Ensco, one of those really intangibles that we can't really measure on the balance sheet or metrics or something like that is that the company has what is called a rig standardization program. And what this does is it translates to less time on the dry dock for inspections, repairs, workovers and things like that and more time actually out there making money as an asset. So that's one of the better things that we've seen versus some of the other companies that have had trouble getting things out of the dry dock, you know, like a, a Transocean or a Diamond Offshore or somebody like that. And this is really critical because the demand for almost all offshore assets across jackups, uh, deep water vessels is extremely high right now. Now I have to knock the company down just a few points because it doesn't really, it does have a, some older jackups on its asset base right now. A little bit of a concern going forward, especially when some market and analysts are saying that about 50% of the jackup market is reaching the end of its economic life. So a lot of these things are going to be turned over. Uh, but it does have a very strong new build program of not just deep water, but also harsh environment jackups. Again, high day rate things, a lot of things going for it. And then it maintains a very strong capital discipline with this expansion program. And, you know, a 4.9% dividend yield is really nothing to scoff at either. So, you know, you add that to an income for portfolio, it looks pretty good. Yeah, you know, that's a, a pretty good picture that you paint, sort of get the gist of what's going on. I know you've been following Ensco closely this year, so it's, it's nice to see it on this list. I look forward to seeing what else is, uh, what else is on there. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Fool.com to find out what the rest of our favorite stocks are.